3 March 2020. The U.S. administration is calling the coronavirus a hoax. Now people have stopped drinking Corona beer or buying Chinese food. It feels like the world has gone mad. And then by Friday, everything was shut down. The theater was shut, the town was shut. And that was the beginning of uh, the year inside for all of us. 13 March 2020. I'm slowly getting prepared for the virus. I've canceled all meetings and parties. I've started a deep Most cleaning Most places of the are asking people to work from home. I've bought supplies home. and have cooked some meals ahead. I wear gloves 20 when I'm March 2020. I lost it today. I was not able to sleep last night and I got exhausted and felt like I was walking through molasses. I don't think anyone is feeling 2 productive. May 2020. It's around day 54 of isolation and things are beginning to break down. People can't stand being at home anymore. They don't get that it isn't any safer for us to be out there. There's there. still over 300 people dying a Farmers day in New York City. Farmers have been destroying their food because they can't get it to market, and people are going hungry because they're not making any money. I saw this year inside as another parameter, a thing around which you make your artistic decisions. Um, it's like when, when Picasso did his blue period, people think it was about depression, and some of it was about the fact that he only had blue paint. So he used what he had. And so artists are always taking the situation they're in, and how can they use that to, to create something. And for me, it was a situation of being inside for a year. And that's how I got started on these paintings. Today I found a photo I took this winter of frost on my studio window that ended up looking like dots on a black field. I'm going to attempt to paint it. There's so many dots in this painting, I'm afraid that the structure might get lost. But I won't know until I try, and I've been wanting to do this for ages. But sometimes the light outside the building would be hitting the windows and you'd see all the frost on the windows. And that struck me as a beautiful and interesting thing. Uh, you know, it's like, okay, it's the frost on the window. It is of a thing. It's also very abstract. It's also like a constellation. It's also like a place you can travel with your eye. And even as I painted them, it was like a meditation and you're doing, you know, one little mark after the next and then other times you're just trying to get the illusion of it. So it was this cold playground in which I could try out my painting experiments. I could... Um... 21 May 2020. I'm increasingly excited about seeing this painting finished and doing another one. It is demanding because of the need to keep the marks consistent, but I love what I have done so far. 10 June 2020. I just need to continue to concentrate. I worked until 6 p.m. today, and it is a long day when painting tiny dots with a brush the size of an eyeliner. 2 July 2020. The year has been filled with so much death, both close friends and with thousands of strangers. I think about it every day as I mask up to leave and the then house. And there is another outbreak. This is going to linger with us for a long time. I've been thinking a lot about my work and what the elements are that I come back to repeatedly. Nature is part of it, reflected light, highly detailed, which is ironic as I don't really like to look at highly detailed work, but this seems to be the lane that I'm in. In my new paintings, I'm interested in dimensionality and pixelization. I like the idea of having the image billow off the surface. If I could describe the painting I want to do, it would be mesh draped over a colored ground with confetti on it, or draped gold lame with some other metallic ingredients in it. 14 August 2020. Thinking more about the drapery paintings. Maybe I'll order some sequin fabric. What I do when I work is I'm always asking questions. 
And so here I am working on the frost paintings and I'm going, what else is, has dots? What else shines? What else reflects? And I thought of sequence fabric. It's really that weird little connection that made me pursue working from the fabric. And then when I saw that it could um, reflect the environment that it's in or whatever's in front of it, that became part of the subject. 23 August 2020. Tonight I received the sequence fabric I ordered. I started photographing it. I think it's going to be fantastic for a large painting. 2 September 2020. Worked all day on the first sequence painting, but I'm not sure it has the right impact. I think I need to paint the whole thing and then repaint it. But it's okay, I knew that these would require some figuring out. 15 September 2020. I barely listen to the news California, anymore. Oregon, and Washington are in flames. The level of the Australian fire. 28 last. October 2020. People are voting in large numbers. I can't stand the direction our country is moving in. It makes me despair. It's exhausting to live under Trump. I think I will go into major hibernation. Time to get into a new painting. The election has been exhausting for all of us. Can't wait until the next 7 November over. 2020. We finally have a new president. We'll have to wait until January 20th for Biden to assume office. Like everybody, I was home all the time watching Netflix and I got pretty addicted to the Northern police procedurals out of Iceland and Norway and Sweden. And I also used to live part-time in Sweden, so I found it fascinating for that reason as well. I was not looking at the main subject in the picture, I was looking at what was going on outside the action. And so I started taking pictures off the TV and when you're doing that, often the things on the side are uh, out of focus because they aren't what the cameraman is focusing on. It's like something that they aren't even thinking about. And that was where I went to in these pictures. I wanted to see what was going on in the background and, and uh, the weird, interesting effects, and also the fact that, that it was on a flat surface, because it's coming off of the TV. And it seems so much like the life we were living at that time of, you know, we're either on a screen talking with people in Skype or in Zoom, or watching endless amounts of television. And that really was our life during this time. And um, so I made my own little landscape out there, and one that really reflected the mood we were all in. COVID is overwhelming most of the country. I'm anxious, unable to sleep, unable to eat. I need to paint. 31 December 2020. End of the year and everybody is saying, good riddance. But for me, it was a good year. I did some good paintings, reconnected with some people. I redid my website. 7 January 2021. Things continue to be wild. Trump finally made a statement that he can see. Biden won, and now there will be a peaceful transfer of power. Meanwhile, the virus is totally out of control. More than 4,000 people are dying daily in this country. In another month, we will have lost a half a million people. Can't wait for this to be in our rear view mirror. In the studio, I'm working on the large sequence painting, still struggling for the effect that I want. These things often don't come right away. I'll have to just keep working. 25 January 2021. Finally, I had an okay day painting. I went back to a frost painting that I stopped working on months ago. 22 February 2021. I want the light to seem as though it emanates from inside the painting toward the viewer. And I find when I paint, even when I'm making drops on the canvas, I'm always looking to see how that pulls the light forward. 'My nature is that I see things in terms of how they are defined by light and color. That may be why I am interested in resonance, how these components make me feel where they take me internally. In that way, my reaction to a painting is more akin to someone's reaction to music. The way music resonates with you 
has as much to do with who you are in the moment as with the music. And just as we can travel or meditate while listening to music, I do both when I paint and when I'm looking at a painting. And with all of these paintings, there is a, a sense that the painting is a membrane. And through this painting, you can pass into another universe. Whether you're passing through your screen into your television, into a world on the other side of that, or you're passing through your window into the world outside, or you're passing through this artificial screen like from Oz, and you go into a new world. So all of these have that in common, that it's a kind of membrane, uh, a passageway to the other side. And of course, the other side is really our internal world and our sense of the universe.